Hi everyone, in today's session, I will cover the consumable models and consumables module in ServiceNow. By the end, you will understand what a consumable is and how to create both a consumable model and a consumable. Before diving into the demo, I will explain what a consumable asset is. Consumable or accessories are low value, easily replaceable assets tracked by quantity in the stock but not while in use. Example includes cables, adapters, earphones, printer cartridges, keyboards, mics and webcams. These items are usually not asset tagged or tracked after deployment. Organization track consumables during purchase and storage to maintain visibility for asset managers. Now that I have explained what consumables are, I will proceed to create one in ServiceNow. Now we are in ServiceNow demo. Please note that if you do not have the admin role, you will need both the model underscore manager and asset role to create a consumable model and a consumable asset record. Today we will be creating a consumable model for HP webcam. So in the navigation bar, we will type consumables models. Now you will see a list of all out of the box consumable model records. Then we will click on next. This will load a blank form. This form is like the hardware model form covered earlier in hardware model course. As we create this consumable model, I will explain each field. So the first field is display name. This field shows the value from the manufacturer and the model number field. Next come manufacturer and name. The manufacturer field stores the model manufacturer. For this example, I will enter Hewlett Packard. In the name field, we will enter the description of the model. In this case, I will type 430 FHT webcam as this is the official name of the webcam. Now this form has three tabs. The first tab general contains all the general information. The first is short description where you describe the model. Here I will enter the same name that I entered in the name. Now moving to the model category here where you define the consumable model category it is already set to consumable so we will leave it as it is. Now come asset tracking strategy in this field where you define how to track consumables for this model. By default leave to category is selected mean the associated category will define the asset class which is consumable in this case. Now comes asset tracking unit. This indicates the unit of measure for the asset. I will keep it as individual unit. Then moving to the acquisition method. This is where you specify how to acquire consumable asset for this model, such as buying or leasing. So I will select it as an outright purchase. Now comes the cost. This field allow you to specify the price of the consumable model along with selecting the currency. So in this example, I will set the cost as $70. Now comes the depreciation field. This allows you to specify the depreciation scheme for the consumable asset using the model. There are various schemes available such as double declining balance and straight line. However, it is common to leave this field blank since most organizations don't depreciate consumables due to their low value. Now, the next comes the salvage value field. This allows you to define the worth of the related consumables when fully depreciated. In this example, I will enter $10. This value is used in calculating the process to determine the depreciated value of a consumable. Now comes the comment section. In this field, we can enter any notes about the consumable. In this, I will type this is 
approved with cam. Now at the top right, you will see model number. In the model number field, you can enter the part number or stock keeping unit. In this case, I will enter HP-77B. Double one double A as this is the official model number for this consumable. Then comes the barcode field. This is used to capture the barcode used on the model or its packaging. In this example, I will use a random number. Now the next is owner field. You can specify a user within the system responsible for managing this type of consumable at your organization. In this example, I will enter able tutor. Now comes the status. The status field track the status of the model. Options include in production, built, retired or sold. So for now, I will keep it as in production. Next comes the expenditure type indicates whether a purchase is capital expense or an operational expense. And this also guide financial management decision. So I will keep it as capex. Then comes the certified checkbox. This allows you to specify the model has been approved for use or not. Now the next tab is consumable. In the consumable tab, you can view all the consumable asset created using this consumable model. Since no consumable assets have been created for this model now, there are no records to show. Now we will create a consumable record. So we will navigate to the application navigator and type consumables. We will click on it. It will open all the list of the consumable records. Now we will go ahead and click on the new button. A blank form will load and I will explain each field as we go. Now comes the model category. This field let you choose the category of consumable you are creating. So I will go ahead and select consumable. In the model field, you can select a consumable model record. So for example, here I will go ahead and choose Hewlett Packard webcam that I have created in this earlier session. Now comes the quantity. The quantity field is set by default to one for consumable asset. But for this example, I'm updating it to 10. Let's suppose I have 10 HP webcam with me. Now you will see there are three additional tab here at the top. In the general tab, we store the general information. Here the first tab is for the state. The first, the state field is crucial for, man, for monitoring the physical condition of consumable. It allows tracking whether they are on order, in stock, in transit, consumed, maintained, retired, missing or built. When creating a new consumable asset, by default, the state is set to on order. It's worth noting that this field interacts with the substate. Selecting a status in the state field unlocks corresponding substate in the substate field. For instance, when I change the state from on order to in stock, the substate field becomes editable, offering a range of substate so for the demo purpose, I will select the state as in stock. Now, as we have selected this in stock, you will see the stock room option field is visible. Here you can choose the specific stock room where the consumables are stored. So for example, I will select the Southern California warehouse. When I make the selection, you will observe that the location field is automatically filled. This happens because each stockroom record in the service now contains location information. So whenever a stockroom is selected for an asset or consumable record, the location field is automatically populated. Now comes the parent field. Here we specify the hardware record to which this consumable belongs. Since this consumable is currently in stock and hasn't been issued, we won't select any asset it belongs to yet. 
when we eventually consume this this consumable we will have the option to select the hardware asset it associated with now next comes the class field currently this is read only indicates the type of asset group to which the consumable belongs since we are dealing with the consumable asset this class will always be consumable next field is pre filled with the stock room selection moving to the cost i will i will put 70 dollars and the currency if we want to change now in the cost center i will choose it department assigning financial responsibility now in the asset function i can go ahead and choose the right primary secondary or shared i will select as secondary now coming to the next tab that is disposal this is best if we are planning for any future disposable process so for example let's suppose we will change this webcam after two or three years you know I, I can go ahead and give the reason as outdated i can go ahead and select the beneficiary as an uh, which itad vendor will dispose this asset so by default i will go ahead and select no will what is the what will be the resale price of this asset when it was disposed i will select as at 10 dollars now let's say we are scheduling this retirement after two years so i will go ahead and go to june 2026 and select a date and on which date this asset will be retired so for now i will keep it as blank now comes the activity tab in this work note you can add any relative notes about the consumable asset now we can go ahead and click on submit to save this consumable asset record but before i click on submit it is important to note that if a consumable with the same model location category stockroom status sub status already exist in the system this will merge the new entry with the existing one for example if there's already a hp webcam with the quantity of 6 and if we submit a new entry with the quantity of 10 this will combine both entries to show a total quantity of 16 this streamlines consumable tracking by consolidating identical items now i will go ahead and click on submit and i can go ahead and see the webcam that i have created so it's there so before i finish let me show you how to consume a consumable typically done when issuing item to end user now we will open this record now we will go ahead and click on consume now in this form we can go ahead and select the quantity user and, uh, and asset information so for example i will issue this webcam To, to able to able tutor against the apple macbook pro that we have created in an earlier session and the username is able tutor i will go ahead and click on okay now we can go ahead and click on back and we can go ahead and see this webcam now uh, now the state is consumed we can also go ahead and check this under the hardware asset that we created in the earlier session i will go ahead and search for macbook pro 14 i will go ahead and open this and under asset i can go ahead and see the consumable assigned to able tutor that is hp 430 webcam so this wrap up the session on consumable management in service now thank you